Hi guys, uh, Bisu here. Today we are going to talk about what are the dependent and independent variables, what do they mean and what are the differences between them. Before that, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get more informative contents like this. Alright, let's begin. So what does actually dependent and independent variable mean? If you are in a research, if you are a beginner or if you already know a lot about research, you need to know what is a dependent and what is an independent variable. Otherwise, you can't conduct your study because your research studies are basically revolving around dependent and independent variables. So before uh, knowing what they actually mean, you need to know how research works. So whenever you do a study, research study, uh, the flow of research will be something like cause and effect. So the flow of research will be something something like this. So it starts with the cause and it ends with the effect. So you change something in your study, you manipulate something in your study which you call as a treatment. And then you see the effect of that treatment and that that cause can be termed as a independent variable and then that effect can be termed as a dependent variable so that's how it goes that's how your research goes so independent variables are basically the cause which you can manipulate which you can change um, Whereas the dependent variables are the effect of that cause and they are dependent on those independent variables. So to make it simple, let's go through some examples. Um, I'll show you some of the examples and then you will be more, more clear. So example one could be effect of uh, drugs uh, a drug could be anything drugs on uh, let's say blood pressure and cholesterol so you as a researcher are studying the impact of drugs any drugs drugs let's say a and b on blood pressure and cholesterol so what is the cause here drugs so cause is drugs and because of that cause what is the impact impact would be on blood cholesterol blood pressure and cholesterol so that is the effect so these drugs are called independent variable independent variable and these blood pressure and cholesterol are dependent variable So it's, it's as simple as that. So let's go through another example. Uh, the second example would be effect of fertilizers, let's say nitrogen and phosphorus on plant growth. So let's say one of your treatment is 20% uh, nitrogen another treatment one is 20 percent nitrogen treatment two is let's say five percent phosphorus so those are two treatment i'm just uh, creating a random imaginary research so these are treatment there you have two treatments in your study treatment one and treatment two treatment one has 20 percent nitrogen and treatment two has five percent phosphorus and um, you are measuring their effect on the growth of plant which you can do by measuring let's say uh, you are measuring the height of height of plant uh, you are measuring uh, leaf length um, let's say steam length or whatever you want to measure so you are giving those two treatment and you are measuring height of plant leaf length stem length so what is the cause here obviously fertilizer is the cause here which is causing change in the growth of the plant so that means these factors here are obviously dependent on these factors so that means this is a cause and 
and this is effect. So that means these uh, two treatments, 20% nitrogen and 5% phosphorus are independent and this um, height of plant, leaf length and stem length are dependent. So that means you can manipulate them, right? As a researcher, you can manipulate them, but you cannot manipulate them because they will show the effect based on this manipulation. So you cannot manipulate. So that's how you can differentiate between um, dependent and independent variable and the effect will flow like this and let's look at another last example third example um, impact of different uh, protein levels on growth of chicken so different protein levels. So you as a researcher are looking at the effect of different protein levels. So first protein level of BS, uh, could be let's say 15%. That's your treatment one. Second treatment would be let's say 18% protein. 18% pro 15% protein, 18% protein and treatment third could be let's say 20% protein. So these are your treatment and you are looking at uh, the growth of chicken. So what you are measuring obviously body weight you are measuring body weight at let's say uh, 5 week, 10 week, 15 weeks and then you are measuring food intake and you are measuring let's say um, food conversion ratio FCR so you are manipulating protein in your treatment study and you are uh, measuring body weight, food intake and food conversion ratio. So what is the cause here? Obviously these treatments are the cause here. And what is the effect here? This is the effect here. So that means this effect which are body weight, food intake and food conversion ratio are dependent on protein. So that means these are independent, independent and this is dependent and you can manipulate them and you cannot manipulate them so guys uh, these are some of the differences between dependent and independent variable i hope this video was clear and you were able to understand um, understand what those dependent and independent variable means the example I gave were just imaginary examples uh, some of the examples uh, could be a little bit off like I was using 20% uh, nitrogen maybe in the real world they may not use 20% uh, nitrogen I'm not a plant expert so I I would not know that but that was just to demonstrate some of the examples so guys if you um, want to know more about similar topics please put uh, put down those uh, things in the comment section and I probably will be able to make those those videos as well. And if you like our videos again, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, watch to inspire and keep inspiring.